welcome to Alpha Militaria TV. Thanks for tuning in once again. My name is Richard Saunders. Now, if you saw our last video, you'll know that we are reviewing a couple of um, budget or more affordable PCP rifles. And in the last video, we talked about this, the Hatsan Factor, which is distributed in the UK by Edgar Brothers. And you can find the link below for the full review on that. But for this video, we're talking about a gun made by another Turkish company, ATA Arms, and the rifle is the ATA Airborne. And I have to say, you know, when it comes to affordable rifles, PCPs, they don't come much more affordable than this. Uh, this retails at Sportsman Gun Center, which is the official distributor in the UK, for £400. You know, and on the surface, it looks really well made, nice and solid, and believe it or not, this rifle is regulated. Now, regulators are a feature that you normally find on more expensive guns, certainly more expensive than, than 400 quid guns. Um, so on the surface, you know, it looks like a really impressive package, I have to say. Now, I'm in the, um, the Alpha Militaria uh, recording garage because it's snowing and blowing a gale outside, it's not very pleasant. But once we've gone through the key features on this and we've zoomed in on, on a few of them in close-up, I get out to the range and put a few pellets through it to see if it shoots as good as it looks um, on paper. So, starting at the back then, you have a, a solid rubber uh, recoil pad, um, which is curved, there's no adjustment in it. Um, I have to say, I didn't really found that I needed any adjustment. Um, the um, the raised cheek piece, which is a little bit with this angle here, reminiscent of a of a, an Air Arms S200, gives very good um, eye alignment for a scope and cheek weld as well. The cutout is nice and big, um, and the pistol grip is nicely raked to give you access to the two-stage trigger, which is fully adjustable. And the blade on it is quite narrow, but it's very comfortable, I have to say. And having had a few shots with this, you know, for a 400 pound trigger, the let off is superb. Um, nicely weighted and it's a good trigger. Now there are patches of stippling or what on the surface looks like stippling or checkering on the pistol grip and the fore end. But when you look a little bit closer, um, it actually says um, ATA arms over and over and over again, which is quite a funky, um, feature I think, um, certainly gives, makes the rifle nice and grippy. Now inside the pistol, inside the, the trigger, on the trigger blade itself is a safety catch. You push it left, um, or sorry, push it to the right to make the gun safe and push it through from the right to the left uh, to make the gun live. Uh, you know, I know I've said it a thousand times before, but not my favorite place for a, for a safety catch. You know, I don't really want to be fumbling near the, the trigger when I'm trying to make a rifle safe. But it is very quiet to operate. It does lock up the trigger very, very securely as well. So you, you can't knock it for that. Um, now the action is a side lever. Um, it's not sprung at all, but it's beautifully weighted. Good resistance on it as well. Um, and very, very, <coughs> excuse me, very, very smooth. No notchiness or anything. You know, it's a very good side lever, I have to say. And that operates obviously the magazine, which fits into the slot here. And we'll show you the magazine um, in just a little while as well. Now, forward of that, the rifle overall is 1,020 millimeters long. And that includes the silencer that is provided. And um, the barrel itself is, is, uh, isn't shrouded, it's just a naked barrel. Uh, but that silencer on the front makes it really quiet actually. You know, I'm gonna dry fire this to show you the, the cocking action um, and also to, to let you see how quiet this is. And bearing in mind this is indoors, you know, that is, you know, really pretty quiet I have to say. And probably with pellets in and outdoors it would be even quieter than that. Um, the barrel is 480 millimeters long. And um, as I say, the rifle overall is 1,020. Now you've got a big, big air cylinder on this, a metal air cylinder, 545 cc bottle, 
um, takes a 220 bar fill. And this rifle is available in 22 and 177 uh, through Sportsman Gun Center. Now, I haven't got a figure for, uh, for shot count um, just yet, but as I say, I'm gonna take this down to the range and we'll put plenty of shots through and see what the actual shot count is. So I think that's um, pretty much all the features on the rifle. Let's show you the whole loading process, uh, the magazines as well, and also how to fill the rifle. And we'll zoom in on those key features as well. Now putting pellets into the, the magazine is quite straightforward and they're different on every single gun just about, but it's reasonably straightforward for the ATA Airborne. Um, on the front you see there's this plastic um, faceplate and there's a little arrow up here telling you that you've got to rotate that uh, clockwise as far as it will go. Now that puts spring and tension um, into the magazine and if you let go, it will just move back again. So you just need to rotate that and hold that with your fingers. Then turn the magazine round. And then in that first hole, you want to put your pellet in, um, first pellet in back to front. So put it in skirt first. Then having done that, you can turn the magazine over again and put pellets into all the uh, all the slots one by one, all the holes. Now the magazine takes 12 shots in 2-2 and I'll be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what the shot count is for the magazine in 177, but it's obviously gonna be at least 12 and probably a couple more than that. But you just keep going around, turning around this face plate as you go. Now make sure each pellet is fully down inside the chamber before you turn the faceplate. Otherwise you could damage the pellet as you rotate the faceplate. So that's the final one. And then once, once they're all in, just make sure that that faceplate is properly, properly, properly located back again. Installing the magazine is, uh, is quite straightforward. If you can see, hopefully you can see on the back of the magazine here, there's a little raised ridge along here. And that has to align with a slot in the base of the breech here. So all you need to do is pull that, that uh, side lever back. And then with that ridge and that slot lined up, it simply pushes in from the right side of the rifle and then return the, safe, the, uh, the side lever and obviously push the safety catch on. To fill the ATA Airborne, uh, there's a fill um, port underneath here and you have to unscrew this little cap underneath. Like, like so, put that somewhere safe. And that reveals a, uh, a quick fill port underneath here. So then it's just a case of taking your airline, snapping it on there, making sure it's on nice and secure, and then giving the rifle a 220 bar fill. Do this right way around. more. It's quite empty so I have to give it quite a good fill. That should do us. And obviously bleed off the airline, remove the airline, then make sure you put your cap back on again 
to avoid any dirt or muck getting into your uh, into the workings and then on the side here there's a nice clear gauge for showing you uh, what your fill pressure is so that's the key features on the ata airborne as i say 400 pound regulated pcp rifle from sportsman gun center so um, next stop is to take it down the range and see how it shoots well, we're back out on the range. I managed to, do, uh, to talk about the rifle in the recording garage yesterday. We're going to see how it shoots now. Now, I set a target out at 30 meters and uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, this side lever and this trigger are really, really good. Already within a few shots, this rifle doesn't feel like a, a 400 quid rifle. Now the side lever is really, really smooth and the trigger is lovely. Pretty accurate too. That's it. Well, let's go and take a look at the group. From here, it looked pretty good, I have to say. Well, that's a full magazine at 30 meters. And I tell you what, that group, they're all through one hole. That's about the size of my finger. So what's that? I don't know, half an inch maybe. And uh, I tell you what, that would embarrass many a a more expensive rifle. Don't forget this rifle costs 399 quid. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm really impressed. <laughs> I really am. I'm shooting it, that the trigger is nice and, and precise. The side lever, it could come off of a, a 2000 pound gun. I'm really, really impressed with that. Well, that's the ATA Airborne from ATA Arms. Now, I'm not being flash, but I test an awful lot of air rifles and you know, I just do. And I can't remember the last time I was impressed by an air rifle as much as I was by this. Now, it's a little bit heavy. It's 4.3 kilos, but you know, there's lots of heavy rifles out there that are very good. Um, if you're fully regulated, um, accurate as anything else I've shot, the trigger is excellent. The side lever, is so smooth it, it could have come off of a gun costing two or three times well three or four times as much as this um yeah really really impressed with this um and as i say it retails for 399 quid now someone has said to me that this gun was a a 900 000 pound gun or even more i would not have been surprised really impressed with this um, anyway hopefully you found the video uh useful and of interest if you did perhaps hit this hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like more information on a whole range of air gunning topics, then please take a look at our website, which is www.alphamilitaria.com. Thanks for watching.